Okay, welcome back to Lethal Hammer's channel. Today we are going to take off the stock cooling and the, the mounting plates and the cooler for the GTX 580 uh, to get ready for our coolant block, uh, water block. So, let's get right into it. So as you see, we have an EVGA GTX 580 SC, super clocked. Uh, first thing you want to do is check out the card. You'll see along the uh, front edge there's going to be four screws. This holds on the top plate. I've removed these screws already. There's three screws on the back side. Uh, so really quickly you'll see I'll take that right off. That's the cover and that reveals the, the innards. So you have um, the cooler. You'll see that they do have some rubber mounts here. Uh, you want to make sure to keep this all intact. So if you ever have an issue where you need to take your water block back off, um, that you can pull it back out of the box, put it back together, and send it back to EVGA for RMA or anything like that. Uh, or EVGA makes some pretty good products, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the other thing you notice is, unlike older cards, uh, the 400 series and the 500 series has this plastic bezel that's mounted to the card. Um, one thing I'd like to be really cautious in regards to that is mainly the... Um, the components here. You know, you want to make sure you're not wiggling that around too much. Uh, you can uh, bend or break some capacitors and, and void your warranty. So just keep that in mind and be very careful uh, moving forward. Uh, but to loosen the heat sink, there's a couple screws on the back side that need to be loosened. And to loosen the plastic uh, mounting plate, there's quite a few screws. Actually, they're not screws, they're torque screws. Um, one tool you'll need that most people don't have is you'll need a torque screwdriver. Um, it does these screws here. You'll see there's quite a few of them all over. They are a T6 size, so make sure you have this tool uh, readily available to you uh, when you're doing this. So just go ahead and get right into it and start taking this apart. So one thing I do like to do um, beforehand is before I release the last couple screws that's going to unlock the plastic piece, I'm going to take off the screws that hold the block in place so I can remove that, remove the block, and then remove uh, the rest of the small screws. This just takes a small regular screwdriver. See, the block comes off pretty easily. I'll 
flip it back over. Finish removing the rest of these screws. I actually think they made the 580 a little bit better than the 480 in regards to its construction. Uh, a little bit easier to take apart. Biggest thing is you just want to make sure you don't strip these screws. There's quite a few of them. Another thing is unscrewing the small screw that holds in the back clamp. And then obviously there's a couple more screws here. to unscrew the little hex. I did pre-loosen these if you're wondering. <laughs> Used a needle nose plier and just gave them a couple little twists and uh, they loosened right up. See, that comes right off. I like to try to keep all the screws from each component together, so when it comes to coming back to things. Give it one more visual check to make sure we got all the screws before we start yanking and pulling. I'm not sure if there's any screws on this side. I don't see any. See, plug the fan. Bam, there you go. Just lifts right up. Nvidia actually used, instead of grease on the pads, they actually used, or grease, they used pads, which is a nice thing. And the good thing is, is most of the pads stay on here, so you can get an idea of the layout they had when you're putting your new pads on there. Yeah, you want to make sure you get all the pads in the right spot on the water block as well. So, overall fairly clean, fairly easy. get my cleaner out. Sorry I didn't pull that out ahead of time, but there you go. That's a stripped down GTX 580. Pretty simplistic. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. That will show you how to install the coolant water block.